Hello! In this video, we'll start using Octave to do some very simple calculations so that you can start getting used to parameter variations and plotting figures. So let's start with this problem of calculating the volume of a fluid inside a tank when you have the level of this fluid. So let's say we have first a vertical cylindrical tank with radius R and a total height of this tank equals L. And if we know the level of the fluid inside it as H, we can calculate the volume of this fluid inside the tank by this expression here. And I, I hope you recognize that pi r squared is the area of this circular cross-section here. And given the level of fluid H, we can find this volume. So let's do that in Octave. Let's say, for example, we have a radius of 1 meter. Remember that uh, commenting what you're doing helps a lot uh, other people understand what you're doing. And let's say that we have a level of fluid of 0.3 of a meter. And then we can use this expression uh, for the volume. Uh, remember that we already have the, vol the value of pi built in uh, octave, so we can just use it like this. And we set up the value of r here, so we can use it and square it. And what's missing is the level of the fluid, we call it h. So if we go ahead and run this file, uh, it's a new file, so we need to give a name for it. I'll just give a very simple descriptive name. And we can see here in the workspace that the program run and that we have the volume uh, or the value for the volume here. But that's not very interesting. Any calculator could do that. What we could see as a bit more interesting problem is to see how the volume changes as we vary the level of the fluid inside it. So let's say we have a total height of this uh, tank as, say, 3 meters. And that we can vary this level of fluid here inside this tank from an empty tank. And we go from small increments all the way to a full tank, so the level of fluid equals the height of the tank. And if we go ahead and run this uh, file like this, we'll see that now, in our workspace, we have an array of values for age. Actually, we have 31 values of uh, level of fluid varying inside a tank. And accordingly, we have uh, 31 values uh, for volume as well. Remember that with this expression, we calculate one volume for uh, one value for volume for each value of level fluid. Uh, but again, we have that as arrays in our workspace. That's not very interesting. We could uh, plot these results and we could plot the vari uh, variation of the level and the horizontal axis and the variation of volume, the resulting variation of volume in the vertical axis. And remember that we can change colors and line types and all that. And also it's very important for us to give the names to the axis, both the horizontal and vertical axis, like so. So here we have the level of fluid, or simply you could put age. And here we have volume inside tank, or simply V. And this is meter cubed. So if we run this um, program now, we'll see a figure like this, in which we say that the volume varies linearly as the level of fluid increases. And that is very easy to understand from the equation. We see that the equation volume is linearly dependent on age. So let's do something a bit more interesting and see the problem of an horizontal tank, like this one, in which the 
level of fluid changes in this direction and we want to calculate the volume inside this tank which is this uh, region here in green. So if we look at the cross-section here of this tank in this figure right here uh, we have a radius R and we'll see that the radius comes from this center here to the bottom for example uh, and knowing that the level of fluid is this distance here that we're calling H there is this distance remaining that we can call A which will be given simply by R minus H and we can see here from trigonometry that uh, the angle theta will be two times the R cosine of A over A uh, A over R right? and with this angle we can calculate this uh, area here or this area times this uh, length here which will give us the volume from the area of a sector minus the area of this triangle in blue here and this will be given by this expression here so let's go ahead let's create a new file and let's say again that we have a tank with a radius of uh, one meter and we have a length this distance L of uh, 3 meters as we had before and we can uh, now see that the variation of level goes from an empty tank which will be 0 all the way to a full tank which will now equals 2 times R or the diameter of this tank so we can create our uh, array of values for age from an empty tank in small increments all the way to 2 times R. With that we can start calculating these um, other expressions here so we can calculate this distance A as R minus H, the angle theta as 2 times uh, see that R cosine in uh, octave is expressed by A cos and inside it is A over R and then we have the volume which will be L over 2 times R squared times theta minus sine of theta and with these values we can again plot a figure for the variation of volume as function of the variation of the level of fluid and again always remember to put the labels in your figures so you can just say that this is H and this is Y uh, actually this is the volume in meters cubed so there you go let's see how it looks this um, this curve of course we need to give a name for this new file and we see now that the relationship between the volume and the level of fluid is no longer linear it follows these trigonometric expressions here and we can see that in the beginning when the tank is almost empty a small uh, variation of the level incurs of, uh, actually is a large variation in the level of fluid incurs a small variation in the volume because we see that here that the area or the uh, respective volume here uh, it's much smaller than when we are in the middle of the tank and this happens again in the end so a uh, large variation again in the level of fluid in the end incurs a small variation in volume so it's important to understand that because as we are looking at only the level of fluid we may think that the volume is changing uh, quite dramatically here but it's not the only the height that is changing more